Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Thank the Lord. God for another Wednesday night, another day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. We have another lesson tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, the help of the Lord. That's entitled tonight, uh, Now is the Accepted Time. Now is the Accepted Time. And so we're going to deal with that tonight. We're going to deal with that tonight because people of God... Uh, and we we have to understand that we are living in the last days. Yes. And in this lesson, and in the study of this lesson, it speaks of, of how passionately Paul deals with this. And we know how long ago it's been since Paul. And so the Holy Ghost is bringing it back to us on tonight, mm -hmm. 2021. So you know the urgency. You can only imagine the urgency now. You have to hear the urgency in the scripture. It is time for the people of God to uh to be prepared to get prepared it is time for the people of god to be prepared for the lord's return and so that's kind of what we're dealing with tonight lesson title now is the accepted time and uh we're gonna pray we thank god for the beginning being present on tonight we thank god for your views you you logging on facebook and youtube we thank God. We pray that the Lord has, has blessed you with his word. And it is our desire at New Beginnings to gain life eternal. Amen. We're going to uh, we're going to live eternally already. There's eternal life and there's eternal damnation. Mm -hmm. And so it is the aim for New Beginnings Community Church to gain eternal life, not eternal damnation, because we gonna rise. The Bible said the dead in Christ gonna rise. You know all the rest of that. We're not gonna deal with that. But let us pray, because I need prayer. Let us pray before we get started. We bow here. Be gracious in heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord, we come tonight thanking you once again for your tender mercy and your kindness. Thank you for your long suffering and your patience, Lord God. We thank you for working things out for us, Lord God. We know according to thine will, we know the enemy always tries to steal, kill, and destroy. He tries to stop the program of the Lord, but I heard the word of God said, upon this rock I will build my church, and the yeah. gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So yeah. we know that we always triumph. We always victorious in Jesus Christ. So we ask, Father, that you were set down Hallelujah. on this place tonight. Your anointing was set down on this place. Yes, Feed our understanding. Give us what you would have us to feast on. Yes, to know and recognize that your return is near. And, and the things that we need to do to be ready as a people. And we pray you would glorify you in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Our focus scriptures tonight is coming from 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter. Uh, in verse 2. 2 Corinthians, the 6th chapter, in verse 2. Mm -hmm. uh, but we'll read verse 1 also. And so, uh, I'll be reading from the King James Version. You can follow from the version that you read from. 2 Corinthians 6, 1 and 2, verse 1. We then, as workers together with him, Beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. Verse 2. For he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee. Behold, 
now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Verse 2 is what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Lesson title tonight, now is the accepted time. Mm -hmm. And so we want to hear what the scripture is saying. Verse 2 said, for he said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. The Lord, the Lord has heard you. He's heard me. And in the day of salvation, I have secured thee. In other words, I've helped. That's secured there is I've helped you. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We're going to define two words. We're going to describe two words out of this lesson. The first one, uh, being salvation. Let's let's define salvation first. Salvation says deliverance, aid, to make safe, free, liberty, rescue, salvation. We'll probably lean tonight toward more towards the deliverance aspect. Mm -hmm. Now that word accepted suggests to us approved, favorable, fully agreeable, pleasing. It also suggests now is the time we are urged sincerely. Now is the time we are urged sincerely also suggest consent to receive a thing offered. And so this is what we're dealing with tonight. The accepted time. Now is the time we are urged sincerely. This is the accepted time. This accepted time tells us, the Lord is telling us that this is the time of proof mm -hmm. that this is the favorable time. This is the time where uh, we are to implore, we are to beg, to, to, to like I say, consent mm -hmm. to receive a thing offered. What is the thing offered? The thing offered is salvation. Yes. Now is the approved time now is a favorable time. In other words, now is the time when the Lord will deliver us. Yes. Now is the time. Like no other time. He said, I have heard thee in a time accepted. Verse 2. Mm -hmm. I have heard thee at an approved time. I have heard thee at a favorable time. Now, okay. and he goes on to say, uh, and in the day of salvation, have I secured thee? Have I helped thee? Na naturally, he's talking about Israelites, Israel. Mm -hmm. But this is Paul uh, writing to the Corinthian church, also talking to the born again believer, letting letting us know because as it because as it was then. Just like it is now, the born again believer was catching uh, trouble with the legalistic religious people. Right. Mm -hmm. The legalistic people, the religious people, was giving the born again people, the people of faith, they was giving them trouble because the people of faith are not keeping the legalistic the rules. You know, religious people keep rules, and if you don't keep their rules, they look at you funny. Right. <laughs> and so he is trying to encourage not only Israel, but also the Gentile believers that have been born again. He's letting us know that now is 
the approved time for deliveries. Now is it's favorable for you and I now to be delivered, to yes. be uh, set free, to be rescued, to, to get our liberty. Now is the time. This is the accepted time. This is the time. It's favorable for us because God will help us. He will help us now if we will uh, repent of our sins and come back and come out of uh, whatever we're in, idolatry, legalism, whatever our situation is, whatever our whatever binds us, whatever holds us captive, he's telling us that now is the accepted time. Now is the favorable time for you and I to overcome everything that holds us captive. Right. Today is the day of salvation, not tomorrow. <clears throat> now, whatever it is that holds me captive, whatever it is that binds me from uh, my liberty, whatever it is that binds me and holds me captive from my salvation, from my deliverance, he said now is the time. It's an accepted time now. It's an approved time now. And for some background, we'll go to Isaiah. Isaiah, actually, Paul is just is Paul is just quoting Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah was most definitely speaking to the Israelites. Right. Paul is quoting because the church, the early church in Corinth, it is made up of Jews and Gentiles, but We'll go to Isaiah 49 and 8. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 49 and 8, where he is definitely talking to Israelites. And we know that the Israelites are the elect of God. Right. You know, they are God's chosen. Uh, verse 8, 49 and 8, Isaiah 49 and 8. Thus said the Lord, in an acceptable time, have I heard thee? Listen to what the Lord is telling his people. Thus said the Lord, in an acceptable time have I heard thee. Mm -hmm. In a favorable time, in, a, in an approved time, All right. for you have I heard thee. This is an acceptable time for you and I. I, I, I hear you now. He said, and in the day of salvation have I helped you. He said, in the day of your deliverance, in the day of your being set free, he said, I helped you. He said, and I will preserve you. I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to establish the earth to cause to inherit the desolate inheritance. Israel, uh, the Israelites, like always, are urged to repent. The whole thing, the whole thing with uh, salvation, the whole thing with salvation, as I say, we lean in on the aspect of salvation as deliverance tonight. The whole thing with deliverance, the key thing with deliverance is what? Repentance. All right. Now, the Lord is saying, now is an approved time for repentance. Okay. Now is a favorable time for repentance. Mm -hmm. Israel, Israel, Israel was always urged to return to the Lord. Yes. Israel was always urged to return to the Lord. Nice. You and I as the body of Christ, we're always urged to repent mm -hmm. because now 
and I, I, I keep saying this because I'm laying the foundation. Now is the approved time. Now is the favorable time for you and I. It is the favorable time for you and I. Why? We'll get into why. <laughs> let's uh let's go to Psalms not let's go to Psalms 69 and 13. And I'm sorry, I'll be reading from the King James Version. You can read from the version that you that you you can follow from the version that you use. Mm -hmm. Psalm 69 and 13 says, But as for me, my prayer is unto thee, O Lord, in an acceptable time. O God, in the multitude of thy mercy, hear me in the truth of thy salvation. But as for me, my prayer is unto you. Lord, in a favorable time for me, in a favorable time, in an acceptable time, in an approved time, oh God, he said, in the multitude of your mercy, hear me in the truth of your salvation, in the, in the, in the certainty of your salvation, in the truth of your salvation. Uh, one scripture said that, the, that he can do exceeding abundantly above all that we can actually think according to the power that worketh in us. The truth of his salvation, the, 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 the sincerity, the, uh, the fact that this is a favorable time. The, woo, the fact that this is an approved time. This is an approved time. He said, in the truth of thy salvation, I know without a shadow of a doubt that you can deliver me. Yeah. Yes. I know without a shadow of a doubt the truth of your salvation. I know without a shadow of a doubt that I have, there is no other deliverer. Right. The truth of your salvation. The time now is acceptable, is favorable for us if we will repent. We will be delivered. Mm -hmm. Come on. In other words, as far as the body of Christ, in other words, we cannot we cannot walk in the car we cannot walk in the carnality of our minds. Right. Yeah. Because that's bondage. That's bondage. Now, uh, let me move on. <laughs> Psalm 95 and 7. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if ye will hear his voice, today, today, now is the accepted time. He said, Today, if you will hear his voice, You can be delivered. Today, if you will hear his voice, right. you can overcome. You can overcome that which torments you. All right. You can overcome that which holds you captive. Today, if you will hear his voice. But a lot of the problem for you and I is that we don't want to give it up yet. Oh my. I mean, we just, we might as well make it plain. <laughs> now, let's break it down for the body of Christ. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the time for salvation. In other words, now is the time where I can overcome any. All right. All right. Understand what we're saying for the body of Christ. Now is the time that I can overcome envy. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't I overcome envy? Because why? I don't want to repent. Mm -hmm. What does repent say? I don't want to turn from it. Repent says, uh, repentance says, I become remorseful, uh, yes. sorrowful, regretful for what I'm doing, and I turn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let that marinate in your spirit for a minute. Uh -huh. 
He said, he said, this is the accepted, accept, this is the accepted time. This is the day of salvation. You and I can be delivered from that stuff. We can be delivered. Moving on. We're going to put it together in a minute. Matthew, uh, before I go there, uh, Psalm 95 and 7 said, for he is our God. He is our God. Yes. And we are the people of his pasture. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the sheep of his hand. He has us in the pasture. And he has us in his hand. So, who are who are we hiding from? The boogeyman? He, he said, he said that we are the people of his pasture, and we are the sheep in his hand. In other words, he has us covered. He has us. We can let go of that anger. We can let go of that jealousy. We can let go of that envy. We can let go of that strife. He has us. He said, look, I got, he said, don't, don't you ever render evil for evil. I, I got you in my hand. I, I'm the I'm the avenger. God is God is our avenger. He fights our battles. Yes. We are the people in his pasture. We are the sheep in his hand. He has us. He avenges. He fights for us. He's our shield. He's our buckler. He's our strong tower. I, I got y'all. This is a, this is the time approved for you to repent from that mess and be delivered. Running on, he said, Amen. today, today, if you will hear his voice, mm -hmm. that is the day that you have the authority, the power to be liberated, right. to be set free. The day, the day that you are convicted, the yes. day that conviction hits you, conviction, I did a lesson on that a while back. Conviction is designed to bring repentance. Yes. Repentance is designed to liberate you. That's yes. deliverance. All right. Understanding the urgency for the body of Christ. This thing is all about salvation, eternal life. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Matthew 12, verse 38 through 40. Let's read it with understanding. 38 says, Then certain of the scribes and the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. Understand it. The Pharisees, the scribes, and the Pharisees. What are the, what are the scribes and the Pharisees? Those are religious people, religious leaders. Right. Listen to that conversation. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees, not all of them, some of them, mm -hmm. answer said, Master, talking about Jesus, right. we will see a sign from you, from thee. 39. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. And there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonah. Right. Verse 40. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying, preacher? <laughs> I'm saying that a wicked, an evil, and adulterous generation is looking for a sign. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get right when I see the sign. That's all. That's why Jesus called them evil and wicked. Because they want to do what they want to do until they see a sign. Oh my. They want to get right. In other words, uh I, in other words, I'm gonna cut I'm 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 gonna cuss you out one more time. I'm gonna cuss my whole time and I'm gonna stop. See a sign. Evil, wicked, adult. Evil, evil, those generations, he called them wicked. 
They want to see a sign. But hear what he says. Hear, hear what he says. He said there would be no sign given to it. Right. No sign. He said, as Jonah was three days in the well's belly, it said, so shall the Son of Man be three days in the ice in the heart of the earth. So what are you saying? I am sharing with the body of Christ that now is the accepted time. Amen. Deliverance is now. There's no sign. What are you waiting? Woo, why run? There's no sign. Now is the accepted time. He said, as I was in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights, he said, that's the only thing given to it. Now is the day of salvation. Right. Now is the accepted time. Now is the favorable time for you and I. Jesus has died for our sins. He was buried and he was uh, raised up for our justification, for our salvation. This is the favorable time for you and I. Yes. This, now is the time for you and I to overcome and stop holding on to whatever uh, destroys our peace, whatever destroys our joy, whatever destroys our liberty, right. whatever causes us to have to lay again a foundation of repentance unto dead works. Jesus. He said, lay it aside. It's a weight. All right. Now is the time. Jesus has uh, died for our sins. He was buried and he was and he had he was risen for our justification, our salvation. We have the power of the Holy Ghost. Now is the time. Ephesians 4 8 through 10. Verse 8. Wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high and led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Verse 9. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? Verse 10. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Yes. Listen to what he's saying. The, 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 the scriptures... Uh, the scriptures before thee, before these, it's talking about when Jesus died. Yes. And when he went down to paradise, he went down to where the dead souls were being captive or being held. And he took the power from Satan. Hmm. He took it from Satan. And when he came up, it said he led captivity captive he, he oh my god he yes, went down sir. into the lower parts he went down into the study said down into paradise where satan had souls against their will in other words one one scripture say uh uh death where's your sting mm -hmm. grave where's your victory he led captivity captive. He came up out of there, and he, as he ascended on high, he said, uh, he gave gifts unto men. Scripture say, now, he that ascended is the same one that descended. Right. Right. It ain't, it, it ain't going to be no sign given. Now is the accepted time for you and I to overcome. Jesus have done the work. And you and I have to stop sitting around debating if we're going to do right or not. All right. Woo! Now is the accepted time to be delivered. Yes, now yes. is the favorable time for you and I. If we put up, if we, the Bible said that we resist the devil, he'll flee. Right. Yes. It said if we draw nigh to God, then God will draw nigh to us. Right. Why? Because now is the acceptable time. It's the accepted time. Now he will we can be delivered. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yes. We have the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. We have the power of the Holy Ghost. But the thing about the body of Christ is we want to serve God in convenience. We want to serve God convenience. Ooh. Inconvenience. Not inconvenient. But we want to, we want it, we only want to serve God. When it's convenient. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Mm. 
We only want to serve God when it's convenient. But now is the accepted time. Now is the favorable time for you and I. Mm -hmm. That whatever we're going through, the Lord will deliver us. He said, in the Psalms we read, it said, in the truth of thy salvation. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, in the truth of thy salvation. In the certainty. Mm. And he said, 10th verse said, He that descended is the same that ascended up far above all heavens with an S, <laughs> that he might fill all things. Now is the time. Yeah. He's above all principalities, he's above all power. All of these things have been are made subject to Christ. Yes. If we, if we fail to repent, if we fail to repent, we will just remain captive. Mm -hmm. If we fail to repent, we will simply remain angry. Mm -hmm. If we fail to repent, we'll simply remain bitter. Mm -hmm. If we fail to repent, we'll simply remain in bondage. Yes. When now is the favorable time for us to break all the, the yokes, the shackles. Mm -hmm. Hebrews second chapter, the 14th and 15th verse. I'm going to let you go. Mm -hmm. Hebrews second chapter, 14th verse. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power over death. That is the devil. 15. And delivered them who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. i read that again. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. In other words, he was, he was manifested in the flesh. That he could be a partaker of flesh and blood like we were, is yes. what he's saying. That he, that he sacrificed his life. Mm -hmm. He died. Right. He took the power over death, which he said in the word that Satan had the power of death. When he died, he took the power of death. Okay. He said, and delivered 15th verse said, and delivered them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. Oh. We, didn't, we didn't win out. We, we lost them. The uh, to power of a uh, Through his authority, through his power, he took control over death and delivered them, and delivered them, delivered them, who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. The Bible declared that God has not given us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of power, love, and of a sound mind. Right. Now is the accepted time. Now is the favorable time for you and I. Because we have the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost 
is a comforter. Mm -hmm. We have the comfort of the Lord along with us, alongside with us. The Holy Ghost, he said, once you receive the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power to be a witness of Christ. The power to be a witness of Christ. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost parts of the world. Now is the accept. Now is the time accepted. Now is the favorable time for you and I. Now is the time for salvation. Now we can be rescued. Now we can uh, be made safe. Now we can be liberated. Now we can uh, be made free. Now we can get the aid, the help that we need. Because now it's favorable for us while we're living. But once we pass over, the Bible said, I have, the Lord said, I have to work the work of him that sent me while it is day. He said, when nighttime comes, he said, no man can work. Nighttime is when they put us in that grave. We can't, we can't work at that point. The Bible declared that 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 corruptible is going to take up incorruptible in the resurrection time, and won't be no working when we pass over. Uh, I mean, when we die, won't be no working in the grave when we die. So, the urgency is to understand that now is the favorable, now is the approved time for salvation. Now is the time to repent. Be baptized in Jesus' name for the remission of your sin and allow the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Now is the time. Now is that time. It's, it's approved. It's approved. It's favorable. It's the plan of salvation from God. And the Bible declares that Paul declared in Romans 1 and 16 that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to all those that believe, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile, to the Greek. 17th verse says, For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. And so, we pray that you understand tonight that now is the accepted time. Now is the time favorable for you and I to be delivered from sin, that we may gain eternal life. Like it, like it is always, I encourage you to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. Allow the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost. Before we go, uh, let us pray. Be gracious and heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you once again for the visitation of your spirit, Lord God. We thank you for your word that you have given us on tonight, Lord God. We pray that you would move in our life according to thine will that you have purposed us to be. Take us from this place, but never from your presence. Bring us back again at the appointed time, Lord God. And we praise you and glorify you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.